this is Leslie with Simply Vegan in Memphis and today we're going to make some wonderful tofu burgers. I raised my kids on these burgers. We love them. They freeze really well and then you can just pop them in the microwave or pop them right in your toaster or toaster oven and have a fast delicious meal, a good source of protein, um, just a wonderful fast burger that you can eat in a burger as a sandwich or you can eat with some gravy on it and your potatoes and have a traditional meat and potatoes meal. Let's get started. We're going to make some breadcrumbs. Today I have just some whole wheat bread that I made in my bread machine and this has a really nice texture for whole, whole wheat bread. It's not really heavy. If your bread is very, very dense, you can just break it up and put it right into your food processor. But if your bread is store-bought or if it's nice and soft like this and you want it to process well, you can take and just crumble it firm like this and it seems to catch better in the food processor. So let's go ahead and break up this bread and get it in the food processor. We need one cup of breadcrumbs. You don't need to toast your bread or anything like that before you make your nice fresh breadcrumbs. And we need one cup of breadcrumbs, but we're also going to use one cup of quick oats. So let me go ahead and put the quick oats in there. And then I'll measure out our one cup of breadcrumbs. And my paws are clean. I've already washed them before we began the demo. So we've got one cup of breadcrumbs there as well. Now, back to the food processor. Let me just dump out these extra breadcrumbs. Okay, back to the food processor. We have our onion here. We'll just go ahead and cut this into chunks to get it into the food processor. So that is ready to go. Now I like to use these flexible cutting boards. You can get them in a pack at a, at a department store and they will usually have different colors. Now I use the red to remind me that this is for my red hot items. So anything that has a strong flavor like onions, I will go ahead and cut on this map because I don't want my watermelon or my apples tasting like onions. So that might be a little tip for you. The nice thing about these flexible mats is they're inexpensive when they get all dinged up and cut places where bacteria can hide you can just toss them and replace them inexpensively okay before we put the onion in the food processor we're going to go ahead and put in some tofu now today we're going to use the packaged mori new tofu there is about one and a half cups of tofu in a package like this so it works out perfect for this recipe but you can also use the water packed tofu this is a one pound package and has about two cups of tofu in it so um, they're very interchangeable in the recipe it doesn't really matter but seeing as this one has two cups and this has one and a half and this is what we need this is what we're going to go with today so just take and rip your corners or cut them if you have some clean kitchen shears you can go ahead and do that and then we're going to dump this into the food processor i'm going to crumble it just a little as i dump it that we get everything out of the bottom okay that's good to go and I'm going to just briefly process this now we'll go ahead and add our onion and we'll get that chopped to the consistency that we like it If your family is afraid of onions, or as we call them, yumions, you can chop it as fine as you want. I would not replace the onions in this recipe with onion powder simply because the onions add a little bulk to this recipe. So we've got our onions and our tofu. Let's get that all in the bowl. Tofu is also called meat without the bones. It's an excellent source of protein without cholesterol. All right, so here is our tofu. And tofu is so versatile. When you use these Mori New packages, they are great for things like mayonnaises, cheesecakes, any kind of sauce that you want. The Mori New 
uh, tofu, also called silken tofu, has a very mild flavor, so you don't really taste the soybean taste as strongly. Tofu, onions, breadcrumbs, oats, all in here. I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of flour. I've got some whole wheat flour here today, but any kind of flour would work, even rice flour, um, rye flour, any kind of flour that you might have on hand. I have a slightly rounded tea, quarter teaspoon of sage, and that is the ground sage, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes, one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, which you can omit or reduce according to your needs, and then we have one quarter of a cup of water. And we'll just stir this up. Now we don't need eggs or anything like that to bind these burgers together because I don't know if you've ever had leftover oatmeal from your breakfast, but when you go to pull it out the next day, it is pretty set up and solid. And so our quick oats are what actually help this burger to have some consistency to it without having the eggs. Now this looks good and Tasty. There's, of course, no liquid floating around in the bottom because we only had a quarter of a cup of water here. You can let this set for about five minutes and let that kind of absorb a little bit. But I don't really, that's what the recipe calls for, but I think it does just fine even if you just go with it from here. So we will take our, cut, our cookie sheet and give it a light spray. almost out there. The easiest way to shape your burgers is to use a um, ice cream scoop. This one is a quarter of a cup ice cream scoop. And let's just go ahead and show you how to do that. You can fill up your cookie sheet with them and then just mash them down gently with a fork, giving them a shape that you like. If you have a burger maker to shape them, that'll work too. Or you could do it in a canning ring and push that through. There we go. We will put these in the oven, fill up your cookie sheet, put them in the oven for 10 minutes, then flip them, cook them for 10 minutes more, and then when they're done, you have a nice golden tofu burger. Like I said, that freezes well, that tastes delicious. We're gonna serve them at our cooking class with some wonderful gravy, some paid potatoes and a broccoli cranberry salad. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So I hope you'll give them a try. Bon appetit. Eat for strength.